All right. Here we go, folks. Best of five once again. We have Cam. Cam Goat. And we have Zapatos. Now, if you don't know Cam, he's an extremely high-level player. Works, um, works his tail off. I mean, guy's always grinding. He's a CRL player. Has found a lot of success in CRL. He's played on a few bubble teams in North America. And I feel as though, as long as he continues to work the way he works, it's really just a matter of time before he breaks into that upper echelon of pro play. With that being said, Zapatos is going to score first. And Zapatos. Yes, this is his real car. Look at that. The man that popularized the move, the Zap Dash. I'm certain that we will be seeing plenty of them throughout this series. This car is the Sentio. And he does a fantastic job making use of this long, flat hitbox. And as you can imagine, in a game mode like 1v1, where flicks are incredibly effective, it's something that he uses to great success. He's up 2-0 here in the series. Zapatos. Does not have as much experience as Cam in the 3v3 arena, but I would say probably has more so than Cam in ones. Cam showing off the aerial mechanics. A flip reset musty. Going to find the far side of the net. Zapatos has even had the opportunity to play at a 1v1 land. We maybe have a double reset, a triple reset. The dunk! There's a zap dash from Cam this time. Certainly would have been a highlight play. Cam showing us his deep bag of tricks. Start game number one, another reset, potentially a second. Gonna bait that second reset. Play a little bit more conservative. Great catch down from the backboard. Has to avoid being demoed. In a great position here. Gonna put a soft air roll shot on target. Pato's defending well, struggling to get any boost as Cam goes corner to corner, picking up the 100 pads. Pato's in a scary position here. Doing well to pick up pads. Continues to play phenomenal defense. But all he can do is hold on. Cam will eventually wear it down to a point where he could break through that defense. We're all tied up two to two. Patos grabbed a huge advantage when he secured that midfield boost directly following the kickoff. Cam did stick around, wanted to play the ball, but Patos was ready for it. Amazing read, Zapatos. Uh, moon flick, my goodness. It's, uh, <laughs> he was in car cam and the ball just <laughs> completely left the field of view. They have a scoring opportunity here as he accelerates that towards the target. Zapatos up by two once again.
Bam. Now that is an incredible play. I'm going to watch this back. I know this might be tilting, but Cam walks this towards the midfield boost, threatens it, makes Zapatos commit towards it, and then turns it towards the net. And that is not an easy flick to get. I mean, Cam has absolutely no momentum, used the full length of the hitbox, and finds that top right corner. That was very well executed by Cam. As a reset, threatens a musty, but Zapatos has the read. Zapatos is going to put in a fifth. Big kickoff from Cam, spotted by Zapatos. Both players jockeying for position. That is unbelievable touch from Cam. But Zapatos bearing down on him. Makes the finesse touch, carries it across the face of his net. Cam's gonna have some space to work with. Full tank of boost, full field. But Zapatos, up quick, will shut it down. Patos. Great clock management. Going to send one more towards the target. And that'll do it for game number one. A back and forth bout, a battle of different styles. Zapato's ground game versus Cam's aerial focus mechanics. Game one, Zapato's did get the better of him. play. Cam does have his reset. It's a good recovery on the play. Made something out of a maybe not so ideal situation. Great first touch. Has the reset. This time gets a demo. Should buy him some time to collect this. Bato spawn. Will be enough for the first save, but Cam absorbs the challenge. And we'll put in the next one. 416 left to play. Cam's up one in game two. Race for the midfield boost. One by Zapatos. Cam. Holds on defensively. Certainly a tough place to be. He will make it work. Zapatos. Making life extremely difficult for Cam. Cam had absolutely no boost to work with. A similar situation here following this kickoff. Pato's just absolutely dominating the resource game. See that quick recovery with the zap dash. One dodge forwards and as he lands, it's that extra burst of speed. Cam with a nice bump. It's gonna allow him some space, but in a second. Cam, certainly frustrated by this kickoff. Zapato's always saving that wave dash. 
Allows him to recover quite quickly. A 50 on the goal line goes in favor of Zapatos. As he'll take a 3-2 lead. Great play from Cam. As I said before, a battle of different styles. It's that reset. He's been holding on to it for a little bit, but he noticed that Zapatos had jumped. Spotted the small opening. Made use of it, Zapatos. Air dribble towards the goal line. Cam looking to counterattack. Will. Damn, up by one. <laughs> I mean, this kickoff is just. Cam's going to have nightmares about this. Love the mix up there from Cam, and it's gonna pay off. And he wants to use every second off that clock. <laughs> I don't blame him. Zapatos has been in trouble. Oh, that's frustrating. Cam with a backflip. I do think this approach is a good change of pace though. Instead of, instead of continuing to do the same thing and hope for different results, I like the fact that Cam is mixing up the kickoff. Zapato, my goodness. Applying all kinds of pressure on the goal line. Cam may still get away with one here, actually. Unfortunately for him, off target with a bit too much pace for him to catch up to. Oh, my word. Zapatos. A delayed musty. Off the crossbar and out. Cam once again with a bump. It's gonna knock Zapatos back into Cam's corner. With a bit over a minute left to play, Cam is up one. Spot those patients in the corner. Spots an opening and equalizes. Zapatos, another kickoff goal. That wave dash is so difficult to deal with. And then a zap dash. The recovery mechanics are unbelievable. Zapatos has him red. Cam trying everything to neutralize this kickoff advantage. But it is all backfiring. Cam? A response? He's going to put in a kickoff goal of his own this time. He's back within two. Uh, 
gonna have to win the race to this boost. He does, but it costs him his life. <laughs> he will quickly return the favor. And Zapato's up immediately, understands the situation. Cam will grab the boost. He's gonna go underneath, and he's actually got some life here. He's down by one. He has four seconds to work with. He can work with this. Full tank of boost. Zapato's staying close. And that's all he needs to do. Zapato's up 2-0 in the series. Cam has switched up his car. He's into the Octane. Old Space Station decal. A classic amongst high-level players. Almost made it back in time. Gives it a backflip on the goal line, but it's not going to be enough to keep it out. The air roll shot from Zapatos goes top shelf. And you get the feeling that if Cam does not turn things around quickly, this may be a shorter series. <laughs> especially with, <laughs> especially with plays like that, Cam chasing the demo. <laughs> he does finally get him. But Zapatos will get the goal. <laughs> Wow. I mean, what do you do? The recoveries here from Zapatos are immaculate. Look at this zap dash. The landing. He This is, okay, so this wave dash kickoff has become very popular at, in high level ones at the moment. It's very much the meta. Now, obviously, you can't use it every time. You got to mix it up. But players will neutral jump into the ball. And then they save that, that second jump that you have, the dodge. They save it. Right? They save it that way they can have the recovery. Zapatos, with these zap dashes, can essentially use his dodge with the kickoff, but then also zap dash as his wheels come back to the ground following his dodge on the kickoff. I know what we need. I know what we need. Look at this. It's easy, folks. It's easy. Get me on the field. <laughs> I got to stop there, though, because anything else, I will be embarrassed. We'll set up another one with Zapatos. He's going to take a 3-0 sweep tonight. In case y'all want to see it here. The double reset, the triple reset. 
An attempted musty at the end. Maybe a pogo. We'll see what he's got. I'm telling you, man, these uh These zap dashes from Zapatos. I mean, that's just it's unbelievable. The Pogo with the bottom right corner mustard. Not too much mustard, just a, just a, a small little dab. Beautiful stuff there from Zapatos. He said he's going to do another one. stuff here. The car control. It's, it's really something to behold. And I know all these players around this level can do so, but I, I gotta be honest, it's just, uh, it's very satisfying watching Vicentio do this. <laughs> Am I the only one? It's just that, that uh, you know, the long, flat plank style hitbox. It's just, uh, it's fun to watch. Another pogo. Backflip flick, Zapatos. He's doing it on command here. 